Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the pipe feature and as you can see on the screen on the left hand side we're going to look at how we can pattern a pipe and also look at how we can use 3D sketching to create more complex geometry. If you require any of the files or the drawings to help you complete these activities or challenges please check the link in the description below. So if you jump over to Fusion so as you can see on screen, I've created this design out of a single pipe feature. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how I've actually created this design. So if I just go uh, back in time and go to this sketch here and turn this sketch on, this is the sketch I've created. Okay, so it's 15 millimeters from the center either side. We've got an angle of 105 and then a 50 millimeter length either side as well. So we've got that sketch. Now, if I wanted to do this without the pipe okay, feature, what I would normally probably do is click O for offset or go into offset. I'd have to select this, okay. I'd have to offset this particular feature like so. Click OK. I'd have to draw in some lines there to join it and then extrude this and then create a pattern. Okay, however, right, we do not need to do that, and also the pipe feature gives us more flexibility. So if we go up to okay, pipe and select the path. Okay, so we're gonna go for that path there. And I'm gonna untick hollow because I don't want it to be hollow, and I want the sectional thickness to say be five, okay, or even four, or whatever we want it to be. So what that's doing now is taking, okay. Right, that sketch and is producing this square feature, all right, two millimeters either side of that sketch that way, okay, and two millimeters that way. So very quickly I've created I've created that sort of design like that. So rather than using the lines, I'm going for extrude and, and changing that, and I can click OK. You might think, well, oh, I'll just use an extrude, but I'm going to show you quickly how you can then change this uh, later on. So I've got this design here. I'm now going to go up to pattern, circular pattern. So features is the pipe, axis, because I've drawn it in the center, I can use this axis here. And now I can tell it how many of these I want. Okay, so I could go up to, you know, whatever I feel like. So I'm going to go up to say 13 of those and I can click OK. And that's very quickly, okay, created a number of bodies. And then if I want that to be one body, I can click on combine, I can go to here, select all of those, click join, and click OK. And that's now become, as you can see, one okay, body. So very quickly, I can create a design, a complex design like that, using a single pipe. Now, you could get away with doing that using extrude, but it's a bit of a longer process. Also, now we've got that design, right? Actually, I quite like that, but I want to change this uh, section to a circular section or even a uh, triangle section. So I can now go back into the pipe and go circular and click OK. And that then updates all those features there very, very quickly. OK, within seconds. And the same again, I can right click on that. I can go to triangle. And again, I can actually go, well, I want this to be a different size. So within seconds, again, I've created a design there, which is quite complex. All right, very, very quickly. All right, so that is a quicker way of using a single pipe and a pattern tool to create that sort of design. So what we're gonna have a go at now is creating this 3D design here. So this has been created using a single 3D sketch, as you can see on screen, and using a single pipe command or feature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reproduce that now. So I'm gonna click on new design, I'm going to turn my origins on and I'm going to click sketch. I'm just going to click a plane for now. And in the sketch palette, I need to make sure that my 3D sketching is selected. OK, I'm going to go L for line and I'm going to click on, and I might need to zoom in, I'm going to click on my OK origin to start. I'm going to go up this sort of green OK axis by 50 millimetres. And if I zoom in and out with my mouse wheel, I can see what I've got there. So you just need to be a bit careful and a bit skillful with your mouse. So I've gone 50 millimeters. I'm now going to come down this blue axis now. 
So it gives me a bit of a preview if I hover over it. You see, depending on what we're going to do. So we're going to come along here. And I want that 50 again. OK, I'm going to press L again. So let's come out of that. And I'm going to go down this time. So I'm going to go down to down this green axis here. So 50. OK, we click. Zoom out again, zoom in, and I'm going to come down this red axis now, so 50, like so. Now, what you might find is when you're doing each line is to click a dimension, click enter, okay, just to stop the sketch, you might find that a bit easier. And then we're going to click alpha line again. We're going to go up the green one, 15 millimeters, and then we're going to come along this blue one, okay, say 50 millimeters. And what you'll see now, if we rotate this, I've got this 3D sketch that's flown up on this plane, okay, coming out towards the front, up again, and then going out to the side. So what I'm going to do now is reproduce this section on the opposite side. So I'm going to press L, and I'm going to come along here, okay, 50, I'm going to come up 15, and I'm going to come down here again. So you can see it's, it's snapping at 90 degrees. Of course, I could change my angle if I wanted to, and I'm going to type in. 15 there. And if I rotate, I very quickly created this 3D sketch. So one single sketch. So we're going to go up to pipe and we're going to select. So what we want to select, now we can click on chain and, and try that. But the problem is it may come up with a bit of an error there. Or it might say, oh, actually, that's fine until we get to this bit. OK, so we need to click that on. So sometimes, depending on how you've drawn it and where you've stopped your sketch, okay, you may need to click on the line, or it might do it in one go. And what I've got here is square. I don't want it to be square. I want it to be circular. I can set the diameter or section diameter like that to 10. And if I want to, and I want to create an actual pipe, okay, I can click on hollow. I can zoom in, and I can decide on how thick I want that wall thickness to be there. So say two millimeters. OK, and I could click OK again. And there you go. I've created that. OK, quite simple design all right, in a 3D pipe. You've also got, remember, the options if you go into there, OK, to change the sectional and so on, but also how far you want it to go along here. So if you wanted to, you could type in 0 0.5 and that will go halfway along, OK, this profile, or you could go 0.8, for example, so 80% of the way. So that is another technique if you wanted to just re reduce the length of the pipe. And there we go. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.